Hi, this is Jag, your Office 365 daily vlogger. I create daily videos talking about various aspects of Office 365. Yesterday, we spoke about the, some of the limitations of Microsoft Forms. As part of that, we've talked about where your data is um, stored uh, when you create forms. Um, and also, we talked about the number of responses that you can actually store. So the limitations here there are, so with the number of uh, responses, you can only have 50,000 uh, responses uh, for any form inside Microsoft Forms. So, and the other limitation we spoke about is the data is not actually stored within within the same tenancy as your Office 365. If you're located in, let's say, anywhere apart from USA or Europe. If you're in Europe, your data gets stored in Europe. If you're anywhere else, your, your data gets stored in USA. Anyway, so in this video, I just wanted to jump on the computer and actually show you some, you know, workarounds uh, on how to get around one of the issues uh, that, that's uh, the data residency issue. So to get to to solve that issue, uh, currently what we have is something called Forms for Excel. So let's jump in actually, let's jump on the computer and actually uh, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through how, what, what I mean. So here we are on the SharePoint site called uh, Electronic Events. So this is just a, a SharePoint site used for planning an event. And as part of this event, I was, let's say I wanted to collect um, connect a quick survey and collect information around t-shirt sizes okay so here I am on the uh, the documents library for the events and from here you can actually see there is actually a new content type called forms for Excel click on that and give your form uh, give give uh, the Excel file a name so let's say t-shirt create and uh, as you can see what happened there is uh, it's actually created a, a Excel sheet which will be used to store your you know the responses that you create or the form and automatically created an input form for you and here you can actually go and say click add question and automatically you can actually see that uh, Microsoft Forms has got some intelligence built into it. And you can see it's actually telling me, um, you know, probably these are the two types of questions uh, people generally ask when they do t-shirt surveys. Okay, I'm gonna add all of them. And it automatically, as you can see, you know, it's asking for your name and the t-shirt sizes and, and various, you know, with, with the question type. So I'm quite happy with this uh, for this uh, quick video. I'm quite happy with these two results. So. I'm going to go ahead and look at responses. So as we just created, there's no responses. And let's go back into the preview mode. And this is how someone actually sees when they actually log in on their machine when they get to create a form. So here, let's, let us let me go ahead and quickly create, create some responses. Perfect. Let's do a few more. have it um, now I just go, I'll go back into the form to see the responses here in the responses section you can see there's three responses that we just created and from here if I just go back and if I actually close this and go back into my group the electronic events group where I'm actually created uh, we created the actual spreadsheet you could actually see, yeah, as you, you get the idea, right? So the, now the responses, the idea here is the responses, rather than actually getting stored inside the forms, um, the Microsoft forms, it's actually getting stored inside an Excel sheet. So previously, if you if you were not using this, you know, you had to store your data inside Microsoft forms, and you probably can export that using Excel, which we'll talk about it in the later videos in, in the coming days. But in this idea, it, you know, it, even before it actually the idea is to prevent the data hitting Microsoft Forms uh, data centers wherever they're located. So here we, you know, um, the, the, you can actually see that the SharePoint app 
SharePoint app app has been actually updated the the t-shirt server if I launch this you can see you know the uh, the responses straight away within the Excel sheet and if, if you want to add from here you can actually go into the insert tab and and click on forms and you can actually go preview the form or you can actually go and edit the form and so on so anyway uh, that's that's a quick workaround uh, to actually get over the uh, the data residency issues uh, with Microsoft forms for now so if you're if you're you know if you're held uh, if, if you're holding back from using Microsoft forms because the data is actually stored in, in a different data center rather than in your current, current um, country then you know this could be a quick workaround and also uh, I believe this is I'm, I'm believing I haven't actually tested this what I'm about to say is you know the other limitation about 50,000 responses can also be resolved this way I, I'm guessing so if, if anyone from the Microsoft forms team is watching this video uh, please please leave a comment saying you know whether using this we can actually uh, overcome the 50,000 responses and limitation there you have it guys uh, that's that's a quick tip I would say using Excel for uh, forms for Excel sorry forms for Excel uh, as a workaround to overcome the data residency issue with Microsoft Forms thank you thanks for watching my videos and uh, please stay tuned for more in the coming days and if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn yet please do I actually post this video um, daily on LinkedIn and also you know store them on YouTube as well if you want to you know check out my previous videos thanks again and uh, thanks for all your encouragement once again. Cheers, man. See you tomorrow.